Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. a squared is equal to b plus 91 and b squared is equal to a plus 91. Our job is to find all possible values of a and b. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. From equation 1 we subtract equation 2. So this will become a squared minus b squared is equal to b plus 91 minus a plus 91. Next, a squared minus b squared is equal to, we remove brackets, this will become b plus 91 minus a minus 91. This negative 91 will be considered with this positive 91. This will become a squared minus b squared is equal to b minus a. Next, a squared minus b squared Move this negative a to the left hand side, this will become plus a. And this b will become negative b at left hand side is equal to 0. Now, this uh, a squared minus b squared will become a plus b times a minus b. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out plus 1 in bracket left a minus b is equal to 0. Now, this a minus b is a common factor. So, we factor out this a minus b and in bracket left a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0 and from here is this expression a minus b is equal to 0 or this expression a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation, if we move this negative b to the right hand side, this implies that b is equal to a. And from this equation, if we move this a and this 1 to the right hand side, this implies that b is equal to negative 1 minus a. Now, we recall equation 1. Equation 1 is a squared is equal to b plus 91. Equation 1 is a squared is equal to b plus 91. Equation 1 is a squared is equal to b plus 91. First, in this equation, we replace this b with this value of b a. So, this will become a squared is equal to a plus 91. Move these two terms to the left hand side, this will become a squared minus a minus 91 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation and is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, a is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared, we write negative 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 91 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, a is equal to negative times negative 1 will become positive 1 plus or minus square root of this negative 1 squared is 1. And negative 4 times 1 times negative 91 will become plus 
divided by this is 2 times 1 will become 2. Next, a is equal to 1 plus minus. This will become root 365 divided by 2. So, we have two values of a. To find the values of b, we recall the equation. We recall this equation b is equal to a. We recall the equation b is equal to a. So, b will be equal to same value of a 1 plus minus root 365 over 2. Now, we solve the second system. In the second system, we replace this b with this value of b negative 1 minus a. So, this will become a squared is equal to negative 1 minus a plus 91. Next, a squared is equal to, we write this negative a first, negative a, and negative 1 plus 91 will become plus 90. Move these two terms to the left hand side, this will become a squared plus a minus 90 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this uh, a squared. We split this uh, plus a as uh, negative 9 times a plus uh, 10 times a minus 90 is equal to 0. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out a in bracket left uh, a minus 9. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out plus uh, 10 in bracket left uh, a minus 9 is equal to 0. And this uh, a minus 9 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, a minus 9. And uh, in bracket left uh, a plus 10 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression a minus 9 is equal to 0 or this expression a plus 10 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of a is equal to 9 and from this equation, we get the value of a is equal to negative 10. To find the values of b, we recall the equation. We recall that b is equal to negative 1 minus a. We recall that b is equal to negative 1 minus a. b is equal to negative 1 minus a. First, in this equation, we replace this a with this value 9. So, this will become b is equal to negative 1 minus 9. From here, we get the value of b is equal to negative 10. Now, in this equation, we replace this a with this negative 10. So, this will become b is equal to negative 1 plus 10. And from here, we get the value of b is equal to 9. So, when a is equal to 9, then b will be equal to negative 10. When a will be equal to negative 10, then b will be 9. And when a is equal to 1 plus minus root 365 over 2, then b will be equal to 1 plus minus root 365 over 2. So, the final set of solutions of a comma b is equal to the first pair is 9 comma negative 10, second pair is negative 10 comma 9 and the third and fourth pair is 1 plus minus 3 times root 365 over 2 comma 1 plus minus root 
365 over 2. This is the final answer of this problem.